Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Darrell. We are back with another bank shot pack opening. Big shout out to NBA 2K Mode for sponsoring this video. We got a chance to get a Jam Masters Rose Court Sean Kemp, one of the flashiest dunkers in this game. And his game style is very similar to Giannis. You can see his stats right there. He's got a five in layups, dunks, post scoring, agility, and defending, along with the five in rebounding and a six in strength. He is a powerhouse. Definitely somebody I'm excited to add to my squad. One of my favorite players from the 90s. And he is a Seattle Supersonic legend. So for this bank shot pack, you'll notice the entry fee to get in is 200 coins. It is lower than usual. And it seems like the rewards have gotten better as well. So now you can get Chaos Diamond, Plasma Quartz, and Cosmic Jaspers. Along with collectibles for the brand new Jam Masters and Throwback Theme. So I'm pretty hyped. Let's get into this bank shot. Let's see. How many drops will it take for us to finish this pack opening? Let's go right into it. 200 coins. You can see the design has been upgraded a little bit as well. In order to finish this, you got to get the letters Rain Man. R-E-I-G-N-M-A-N. -N. So this is probably one of the longest bank shots I've seen. And they're going with his nickname instead of his last name. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. But I definitely do like the new design. It looks pretty cool. Let's check out the board and see how the peg setup is. It seems like the right side is fairly open. There might be some bumpers added in the middle. There is a letter rotating. Two letters. Then you have a new item in the middle. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's like some type of portal. But either way, the letters are spread out. We got an I right there between all those pegs. The G. So you could get something right down the middle. The N and the last letters on the bottom are man. As far as the rewards, each of the items there got collectibles. I don't see any game overs yet, so that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to go. I'm tempted to try this straight down the middle to see if we do get some of those letters. But I'm going to go on the left side, and we'll bring the ball all the way at the bottom so it can drop. Let's see what we get in here. So far, so good. All right, we do got a letter. We got two letters on that one and a collectible. That's a W in my opinion. But we're looking pretty good so far. All right, so I am going to opt for a Jam Masters collectible. I do want to craft some of those players. But maybe I should have went with the throwback to try to craft that Kevin Durant. So I think next time around, I will go with the throwback collectibles. And that Kevin Durant, I believe, is at the shooting guard position, which is pretty unique. Definitely going to be a card that's going to be fun to use. All right, so I'm going to go with the right side. But we'll go with something more towards the edge. Maybe we can hit some of those bumpers. There we go. Can we get that R? Not today. Are we going to get the I? Let's see. Almost. All right, we got a collectible there. I thought the drops were pretty good, and so far, I do like the flow of this bank shot. I don't want to do the game over. We are going to use coins to get back in. So now we have a plasma quartz on the board. And those are really good mentors right now. If you are in... Final tiers, I would say maybe even like the top three tiers. Plasma Quartz mentors are really good still. Right, so let's drop this over here. All right, we're getting a few bounces. Oh, snap. All right, that worked out. We got the letter. So that is some type of like portal. This does feel like pinball. And like I said, we got the letter and it's still going. We got another one if it would have been there. Now, the problem is, am I going to be stuck in this vortex? <laughs> All right, here we go. I think we're going to get the I. Nope, not today. Not the G. We got the plasma quartz, man. That was close. So I got to admit, this feels smoother, man. Because sometimes these bank shot pack openings can feel like they drag. But there's some fun elements to it now. All right, so we're going to keep it going. Uh, we didn't have a choice of a collectible there, so we'll keep the throwback. I'm sorry, the Jam Masters. But we do have three letters. So I think we're off to a pretty good start. I'm going to try to flip it over here. All right. I like that. Come on. Come on. We're going to drop in there. And we might keep going back a few times. Seems that's what happened the first time around. And it's happening again. Either way, we might get a good pull here. There we go. Get the eye. Nope, not today. And we got the collectible. Now, I think there's a max of nine collectibles for each. So if we do end up getting all the Jam Masters, 
we will start getting a throwback. We'll keep this going. And I mean, folks, let me know. Are you excited for the playoffs, man? A lot of teams are clinching. Knicks Nation, we clinch. We're pretty happy about that. I also think this MVP race is a lot closer than what is being shown. We got a letter there. I'm excited about that. Come on, another one. Yes, let's get it. We got the A on that, and we also got another letter before that. And we got a collectible. So that was a pretty clean sweep. So now we're going to opt for the throwback. I think this MVP race is going to be interesting. I think Brunson should be mentioned. Luca, Shea. And then the usual MVP candidates, right? Those players are superstars. You know, you got Jokic, Giannis. And what we getting here? We got, oh, snap. It rolled right out. I thought we had that. But we got the throwback collectible. I'm going to try to craft that Kevin Durant. I completely forgot about that. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Been grinding Aquamarine rings right now and Purple Sapphire. Like, if you go to Purple Sapphire quarterfinals... Every assist with your shooting guard, you will be able to get an aquamarine ring. Right? And, and it's a challenge. So there's a there is a max. But you rinse and repeat the challenge, and you can get those rings non-stop. And then from finishing the purple sapphire tourney round, you can get either a player or purple sapphire ring. So that's been my sweet spot right now. I've been working on that while I grind for the courts I pass Wemby. And I like that a lot. That was pretty crazy. That felt like one of those elevator rides that go straight down. I hope that no one ever has to go through that because that's bananas. All right, here we go. We're going right back to the top of this. And we need to get three letters, right? I, G, and M. I don't know if there's a set strategy. We got a collectible there because it's been flowing really well, right? I haven't had to contemplate any specific locations. Sometimes this thing gets more strategic than it needs to be. And I think for a basketball game, there shouldn't be too much strategy, right? It should be down to whatever's on the court. So this works out. Give me that G. And we're going to get the M? No. But we got to throw back collectible. That makes me happy too. And I, this got to be a good pack opening. I don't think there's really much I got to take out. I, I feel like it's been pretty organic. I like the way it's going. All right. Um, I think it's going to be tough, right? I got to get two more letters. This is usually where the grind starts. But I do feel a lot better than usual. I think there's a chance to get the letters sooner. And if we get a lucky roll, we could get something. Nope. But at least the rewards on the bottom are better. Because before, they were like Topaz, Obsidian's. And I think once those cards are no longer tears, you should be getting better rewards, you know? So it's good to see that 2K is making adjustments to make the pack more valuable. Especially since the reward is a lot better. If this card is 433k power, this will hold you down to season seven. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're getting cold now. That M is gonna be really tough to get. There is a straight path down, but I'm gonna look at it right now. Let me see if it lets me drag this. Okay. We gotta start dragging and see. So there's a straight path down, but once it gets to the middle where this bumper is, there's a chance for it to go on the sides, but that won't be enough to get us to the end. We need to find a better path if I did drop it down the middle, it's going to end up potentially in that portal. So let's give it a shot. I think maybe if I position myself a little bit closer. So far, that was a good drop. But see, it ended up right in the portal. Uh, we could get some momentum to get the eye. Nope, we passed it already. And we're going to get the Cosmic Jasper. So that route there is not going to work out. We need some momentum to push us towards the other letter. And I think that's why I got to hit up the right side, maybe. It'd be like that sometimes. It'd really be the opposite of what you think. It's kind of like life, right? Things don't always pan out the way you think they will be, but they pan out the way they should be, right? And we're going to get the eye right there. <laughs> what I tell you? But we're looking good. So we just need to get the letter M. And folks, 
could take a while but so far i think we're doing really good we haven't used a lot of coins either my back has gone down i think the price is less than usual but it seems like the bank shot could be a good pack after all i'll be the first one to say it, it wasn't always one of my favorites i love the superstar spinner that's my go-to and then pressy dunk is pretty great too now there's some old packs that used to be in the game that were a lot of fun but they haven't made it back i don't know if they ever will but you had to pick a roll was pretty cool the technical toss-up was a tough one that wasn't really one of my favorites that was a really a tough one some referees be trolling you with the strikes it is what it is come on let's see let's see oh man if we would have rolled on that side i think we would have been good can we get it let's go friendly roll friendly roll not today not today we're gonna be here for a bit so get some popcorn get something to drink but i think we're gonna be here for a little bit longer i do appreciate y'all hanging out love making these videos man i really do and the support you guys have been showing on the channel over the years it's been worth it man you know youtube is a grind but it's a lot of fun man there we go what i thought we had it i thought with me giving the emotional talk i would have got the letter m but it looks like we need to continue but i do like the pattern we had there the pinball was dropping where we needed it to be so let me see if i can recreate it a bit i'm gonna go a little bit more to the left because we need those bounces we need a couple of those bounces to go the other way all right so far we got some momentum we almost got in there there we go we got it oh snap what's that it bounced out the other way but we are getting close we are getting close we got the right spot so if you are trying to watch what i'm doing i think this might be the one where you got to pay close attention because i think the ball drop needs to be on that right side i do think that it's going to swing its way over to the letter M. And we're going to keep trying that. But at this point, I don't see another way that's been closer. So let's go this way. See, those type of bounces I need, but not to get the Cosmic Jasper. But I'm definitely going to use those, right? I got some cards I want to max out. If I can make some mentors. Got a couple players that I have in mind for cosmic jasper there's a magic johnson that i want to make it a mentor or i can add it to my courtside pass magic we got another bounce we can still no right, we could get a throwback collectible i'm hoping for that let's see nope cosmic jasper those throwback collectibles are pretty good that theme was stacked right i was definitely surprised i do like that they added the rookie versions of the players I mean, that was really cool. And this is crazy to see how long LeBron's been in the league. And it's crazy to even think that there's going to be a league without LeBron soon. LeBron is almost there, man. I sometimes joke around that I'm going to retire when LeBron does. <laughs> that's how long he's been playing, right? He's been giving us his best for the longest and he should get a lot more respect for that man to be able to perform at that type of level his entire career like, who cares like he went to the heat it's been over with right he's played for so many other teams after that played for the lakers the Cavs. accolades is insane man so we got the throwback collectible i'm happy about that believe me i'm a kobe fan i'm a jordan fan like those players are goats and i think lebron's a goat too doesn't have to be who's the greatest of all time it's just not fair anymore there's too much talent in the nba and as we get older we're gonna see many more players man like, nb right now is balling out of control man i cannot believe how good Wemby is there we go i think we got it no i'll be really with you i wasn't too sure like, i was on the fence like i knew he would have been good but not this good i saw this crazy stat line where he has more games with seven or more blocks than like entire teams in NBA. Insane. Come on, come on, come on. 
We're getting close, man. All right, so that side ain't working. We have to go back to what we were doing earlier. Hopefully we could get the letter M. But overall, I still think I haven't spent that much coins. I started with like 57,000, so not too bad so far. If we get this Sean Kemp under 15, I think that's okay. Because he's going to be a good card, especially for head-to-head. -head. He's one of those gems that you might sleep on, but he's really good. You just got to build him out, though, because he doesn't have a three-point shot. And I know that that's like the thing now with the stretch bigs. The Porzingis. That card is crazy for the throwback game. Might be like one of the top tier cards right now. We got the alternate positions. Wemby, that's crazy. There's a Kevin Durant at power forward. That's insane. But Sean Kemp, like if you got enough shooters on your team, he's a put back dunker, explosive, host of dunks. He's a solid rebounder. So if you could build him up to just have a mid range shot, he'll still be good on the pick and pop. We'll try this way let's see let's see okay we're getting a bounce we went the other way i don't think it's gonna go on the side we need it but well, at least we got the collectible this m is gonna be tough we're getting a lot of stuff in that gold locker so even after we pull sean kemp we're gonna have a nice little pack opening after so definitely stick around for that because i think we're gonna get some good pulls and if we get some theme cards that's even better Come on, come on, come on. Just get in there. Get in there. It just has to squeeze right through those. That's it. That's what we need. But stay in there. See, it gets on the right side. But there's so much space in between the pegs that it falls out. All right, so throwback collectible back on the board. For me, it's worth it with those. All right, let's see. This time around, let me try over here. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. Come on. So that's really close. So I'm going to try to go all the way to the right. And let's see if that works out, right? It's probably like my favorite word, right? <laughs> when I go through these edits, I have to edit out that word so much. Sometimes I don't even care. I just leave it. Let's go. So we got the throwback collectible. So that is what I wanted. All right, so now we are officially, I think now we're over 10K. Don't think we're in a good spot. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. That could be good. That could give us the little push we needed. We have to find a way to get to the other side, though. Oh, man. That would have been good if I didn't have those letters. All right, come on. Because now the collectibles, I think, are running out. So, going too far right isn't working. I think the closest I've gotten is, like, over here. But that seems to drop there. So I have to go a little more to the left. I haven't tried this peg. At least I don't think I've tried it. Let's see if I position the ball over here. But between the two. Okay. We got to get in there. That's, that's the money area right there. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's way off. So we got to avoid that little middle section. Come on, come on. Let's see how this works out. I am going to go back over here. Okay, we on the side we need to be. Okay, so far so good. Let's get back in there. All right, we're not where we need to be. That was close though. We have to get in that row. And get in that row maybe later towards the drop so that it doesn't fall through the cracks. So let's see. Let me drop lower. I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to do a high drop. 
Okay, okay, okay. Needs bouncing where we need it to be. He needs to get in there. So he didn't get in there. So that was a low drop. Let's try a high drop. When I say the high drop, I'll explain to you now. Sometimes I'll just be making up these turns on the fly. But, I mean, you can kind of do that when you're like one of the people that cover the game. So this was a low drop to me. I drop. I think I'm going to go all the way up. That's a bad job. I'm going to go all the way up. Let's go. <laughs> that didn't work out. All right. So instead of doing that, I am going to try a mid drop. So let's go right over here. Which is where it drops. That's where it positions itself automatically. Come on, come on. Oh, I like that. Let's get it. Get in there. Get in there. Teasing me. They're teasing me. Come on. I don't like to get teased. I don't. Let me try it again. Let me move it towards the T. Okay. So far, so good. Don't go in that portal. All right. We got to find a way to get to the left, though. I thought that was it. I thought that was it, folks. Now we are pushing that point, man. I told y'all. I want to get this done within 15K. We're getting close to that amount. We get down to 42. We're going to be in a tough spot. Let's see. You try right here. That's a that's an L right there. All right, come on, let's keep that going. Right, let's see, let's see. Right, over here. Oh yeah, we bouncing in, bouncing. That's what we need. That's what we need. Get back in there. Roll in there. What? Off the rim. It fell right off. That was insane. Okay. That was insane. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it was going to roll down. Still pretty cool. I'm trying to remember. I think I had dropped it here. So let's go a little more over. Oh, I need this to drop. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, that was way off. We we are not doing what we need to do on that one. And folks, I think I used up all the collectibles already, which is pretty crazy. And right, let's go back over here. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on. Feel good. I think you're always supposed to feel good when you're doing this bank shot. You just cross your fingers. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. So close. All right. Now we're hitting that 15K territory. I wanted to get this done at 15K. Let's just hope it's under 20. Come on. Because I like Sean Kemp. 20k for Sean Kemp it's a little high because he's a very good power forward but he's not like on that Giannis level right so that's the only reason why I like 20k would probably be I think his max but again the bright side is that this is a card you can use until next season at this stage of the game I don't think there's going to be much more Tears coming out. I could be wrong though, but I don't think there'll be that many more tears. Maybe one, maybe none, right? Because the playoffs are coming soon. And then after the playoffs, you know, we're going to have like a lot of the end game themes. You'll have the playoffs theme, you'll have the finals, you'll probably get the summer theme. But we'll see how it plays out. I mean, this game has been going on for so many years and they find ways to keep it going with new themes. So I got to give them credit for that. 
then hopefully season seven i think season seven could have some fire man I'm hoping like for some new modes maybe a new event that would be pretty awesome but over the years i mean if you've played this game since season one then you know a lot has changed a lot has improved as well some things still linger around but i think that's more technical man i don't think some of those things really could get fixed it would take like a whole overhaul and with a lot of work that goes into these games all the time i don't know if it's possible right because this has an active player base there's people that play this game every day some of the stuff that needs to get done i, I don't even know if it can be done within a short time frame right and that's something that we have to realize too with these games is that everyone works scheduled just like us there's only so much time who k is always looking at feedback and i speak to them a lot and there we go we got the letter m and we go over ideas but this is what we have focused on we got the letter m we got the rain man we got the rose quartz sean kemp and we finished the bank shot and it worked out we did finish under 20k so that was less than usual i'm pretty happy about that and we got some bank shot rewards so let's see what we get in these rewards we got jay crowder we got josh smith christos porzingis david robinson and lamar odom so i'm gonna tell you right now this christos porzingis you can turn into a mentor for the throwback porzingis that is dropping from the draft boards right now it is a knicks porzingis it is a power forward position, so he will get a bonus for that because it's the same team. Those are the mentors I like making because it's almost like you get a tier upgrade with the mentor. That bonus is pretty nice and it helps out. Let's see what we get in the next one. All right, we got Russell Westbrook, Richard Jefferson, Kate Cunningham, Marvin Bagley, and Penny Smith. Let's see what's next. We got Bam Adebayo, D. Brown, Andre Drummond, or LeBron James. Let's get it. So that could be a good mentor for a Lakers LeBron. And a Vlade Divac. Now, one thing I would like to see in Season 7 is when you make a mentor from a theme card, the power is higher. I think the power should be more aligned to the card's actual power rather than in a set amount for the rarity. I think that would add value. All right, so we got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Dave the Busher, Knicks legend. Another one, we got Trey Young, so that could be a mentor, and Jamal Murray. Do you I think Trey Young's getting traded, right? I've been hearing that. Scottie Pippen, Paul Gasol, Jermaine O'Neal, another one, and a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, another one as well. So that could be a mentor, and that Scotty could be a mentor for the Aquamarine. We got Carl Malone, Jalen Brown, Colin Sexton, two of them, and Scottie Pippen. So we definitely got a lot of rewards from this one. Nine Jam Masters collectibles. RJ Barrett, Darius Garland, Tony Parker, another one. And this should be the throwback collectibles. We got four of them. But not a bad bank shot. I think this was pretty solid. And it worked out. I think we spent less than the last time around. And we got more value. We got higher rarity cards. We got good amount of collectibles so i'm pretty happy about this one but for the rose courts jam master sean kemp he has a five in layups and dunks post scoring agility rebounding and defending along with the six in strength the stats you want to boost for sean kemp are going to be the three in mid-range so he can be a good pick and pop player you also want to boost up his playmaking to boost the speed with the ball if you can max out his layups and dunks and his post scoring that way he'll be the most ultimate paint beast in the game as always, I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the channel. I will catch you on the next one. Stay balling.